Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm wearing my hood up because I can't decide if my hair looks like a Karen haircut or not and I don't want to chance it, so hood it is. So anyway, in today's video we're doing a tidy declutter video. Basically, you know how people say that the state of your room kind of represents your mind? Well, a sinner comes before you. Right, first thing that I want to say is that I am fully aware that this is not an uwu cute girl messy room. Like, this looks so bad and it was really hard to function in. Honestly, I'm gonna fully blame this on my depression. But you know what? If I wasn't such a mess, we wouldn't have this satisfying video to watch now, would we? So... <laughs> anyway, now that you've seen my shame, let's just go sort this out. So I'm finally making a start on tidying this room. So my excuse for it being so bad is that I've been planning this video for a while and I haven't cleaned at all because I was like, well, I need to film it. So it's kind of gotten even worse. Please don't judge me too much because I'm going to clean it. So <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't want to do it. It's going to take so long. A healthy bed is the core of a tidy room. Devil corner. <sighs> this is basically my equivalent of that chair that sits in the corner of the room covered in clothes, but for me it's just on the floor. You'll quickly notice that it's basically just like one of Connor's t-shirts among a sea of things that belong to me, so I just want to apologise to Connor for doing this to him. <laughs> Like a part of me was really excited to film this video because it kind of gave me motivation to do it but another part of me is just so embarrassed. No, I don't I don't really want to show this. It's kind of like me at my worst but I'm sure somebody out there can relate. So I actually think I had a nap in between tidying which shows my dedication to just functioning like a normal human but anyway that's my excuse for the lighting change but again I'm just kind of clearing up the floor which took a really long time but I suppose you're not surprised considering the beginning. Uh, anyway I'm about to sustain a serious injury in three, two, one. <sighs> okay, it wasn't that serious, but I did kind of feel like my brain had just exploded and I spent an abnormal amount of time lying on the floor trying to recover. I really wanted to film a segment of me sorting out my art trolley, which was actually quite satisfying, but I might as well have been naked, so this is what you get instead. <laughs> And I obviously took a moment to introduce you to the only real plant in this room. Uh, my mum got me that really cute pot. It's like a little bear and it's the cutest thing I could cry. I call this moment the sad break in between almost being finished and being finished. The room's finally done. I'm so happy. <sighs> now let's see if I can actually keep it clean so that I never have to do this ever again. Look at that clear floor. Look at it. 
Have you ever seen a floor so clean, so clear? No, you haven't. This is the final little spin of my properly cleaned room and I'm really happy with how it came out and the comparison is just unbelievable to be honest. It makes me feel so much better. But you know, if I ever make another video like this, I'm gonna really, really think about the before and after shots because they were not it, I'm not gonna lie. So anyway, thank you for joining me on this journey. I feel like I've experienced some character development. Like this has been my story arc. Okay guys, so that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I can't believe you've done this.